11 p.m. local time when they take the court, Monica. What do you think about that? I mean, me as a player, when I was playing and there was this type of situation, you know, you can't help but get nervous, a little bit antsy. Do I eat? Do I start warming up? Do I prepare? What is the WTA saying? What does the forecast look like? So I imagine their teams must have sat them down and just been like, listen, prepare to play. You have to go in there ready, you know, a lot of things can happen. It could start raining again. Mm -hmm. You might have it canceled. It could be pushed to tomorrow. I mean, there's a lot of unknowns, a lot of uncertainty, but definitely they have to go in as focused as possible because with these kinds of interruptions, we could see something pretty quick happen on the court. You know, one person doesn't come in as focused as the other. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really tough. A Andy, what, what are your thoughts on the fact that they're playing this type of a 1,000-level final at this hour as opposed to pushing it to tomorrow? Listen, I don't know the I don't I don't know the moving pieces. I don't know what the TV contracts are. I don't know, uh, you know, it, it, the the counter, Steve, to me would be if someone bought a ticket for the women's final, how do you adjust those if they don't have a ticket for the men's final also tomorrow? So there are a lot of moving parts. Uh, all of them are imperfect, right? But Monica's right. Having to adjust with hydration, when to eat, when to warm up. Uh, you know, there, there's every chance that uh, th these women have, have warmed up five times today already. So it gets a little monotonous. It gets a little stressful, uh, you know, imperfect. But listen, you, you still get the same out of points. You're still playing for a big, big, big title. So you got to you got to step up. Yeah, Mother Nature, keep that rain away. Let's get that match. It's coming up right here after TC Live. But first.